This is Eric with U.S. Small Farm, and today I'm going to do a walk around of a D10T custom wide, 42 inches wide. It'll take a plastic, normal plastic bed with a uh, uh, rainflow uh, bed layer, and um, I'm going to walk around it and point out the features, and then we'll start the tractor and, and run it. Um, this is a D10T with a picking table, and um, and it has standing platforms, uh, crate racks, and it has remote or rear control on the on the chain speed, and it has rear control on the tail lift cylinder, which is normally run off of a remote on the tractor, but on this machine uh, limited to one remote. So we're going to run the depth of dig with the front remote uh, on the front cylinder there. So here's the. Here's the front end uh, where it hooks to the tractor. Um, all of the things we'll run will be running off of that hydraulic system with this tractor at an idle, so it will run. There's Marcus the boy. And uh, this will have coulters on it that are mounted on right there. Okay. And then we've got a sweet potato blade or a, that uh, digs a little deeper in the middle of the front. And this machine will also go with a straight blade in case that's what's appropriate. Um, these machines have adjustable blade right there and an adjustable front roller so you can get the relationship of that right. This digger might have a little bit of extra chain in it but the user can always take a few links out if he's dragging too much there and then he has some spare links. This is the tail lift cylinder and when you turn this machine around at the end of the field when you pick up the the blade, then the standing platforms can drag in the ground, and so that's got a cylinder there to lift the tail. Um, you can also, if you're not running with racks, you could go behind this machine and uh, just run a straight table up high in the back and dump into something else uh, container. So these racks are made for what I call a bulb crate, and that's what uh, in Holland uh, they send bulbs in this 24 by 16 crate which is a, a fairly common crate um, it can be made with bucket racks or a different size of racking for if you have a special rack then I make those racks that way um, we don't have the the belt in uh, for the for the finger guard yet but that belt uh, the belt will lay right in um, in these in these hole it'll bolt in right here and it'll just lay right in like that okay and that'll keep people from getting their fingers in the in the chain and sprockets uh, and across the rollers. Um, this is a flow control for the chain, and when we get it running, uh, I'll operate that. And then this is the tail lift cylinder, so that instead of the tractor driving when he pulls the the front end out of the row, he doesn't run them both. Then the person on the back will, at the end of the row, pick it up, and then it'll be up all the way. Um, that can be adjusted. Right now it's in, in that hole, in that position, and it'll lift up higher if that cylinder's moved to that uh, top hole there. Um, the axle is adjustable in height. This is sitting in a pretty low position. It really would never run in this low position. But that axle can be turned over and it can be uh, moved up, up, up with, with this uh, until you've got the wheel uh, the frame completely over the wheel um, is well in the range of adjustment here. Um, and you see, normally that, like I said, this uh, this cylinder has hoses running up to the tractor, but uh, this works fine, and, and I'll run it and show what it does when we do that. Um, all right, I got just some hoses laying in there that are the cylinder hoses and stuff that come with it. Um, this is the this is the standard position for the flow control is right there and then the person on the back can't fiddle with it um, which is nice this uh, this clevis to pull it with uh, can be adjusted up and down and then flipped over and up and down again uh, for plenty of range of motion there and uh, that can help you with your adjust your dig depth your maximum dig depth and also the clearance of the tongue from over the over the crop that you're coming over uh, I don't don't have it hooked to the hydraulics, but uh, but this uh, this tongue will come up right here. This will come up close to there, so this will dig super super deep, 
um, deeper than uh, really anything that I've ever dug. So uh, that's it. All right, let's uh, get this thing started, and I'll run. Uh, I'll run this. So, Marcus, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Fire it up. Come on, buddy. Okay. This is at an idle. Running the chain. Get it back here and run the slow control. stopped and it's on relief. And then that's running. Now if I bump the if I bump that rubber there. I'm gonna go down. I can ease it down. We can stall the tractor this way too, but we're running it down to the ground and then pick it up. Okay, so that's Okay, we got rid of the noise, so um, that pretty much covers the walk around on, again, this is a, a custom wide, uh, 30 or 42 inch wide chain, uh, 43 and a quarter inches between the digger nose um, machine with some optional hydraulics uh, placements on it. And that pretty much covers it. Just as a little bit of turnaround and look at this, um, here's a standard width, 25 inch chain, 26 and a quarter between the digger noses. It's got it, the coulters are pulled back for uh, shipping purposes, but uh, those are, are, it's got coulters and it's got a standard, um, standard blade in there. Okay, and, uh, and the flow control uh, for the speed of the chain is in the standard position there. And, uh, there's a picture of the Coulters. This has a ratchet jack in the tail. If you don't need to be doing that adjustment, uh, you can have a ratchet jack there. And then, um, and then there's the Coulters that go on the front. So let me back up and get you a, a view of that machine. If I can get far enough away from it, that'd be great. I sort of got some lights there, but there's the back corner view of that standard, standard pull type machine. So. Okay, well I hope this helps people to see what we got there. Sorry it's so long, bye.